Hey everyone, Andri here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a goal making guide and oh boy, it's been a while since I posted one of these, so here we go. Okay, so in 10.1 we saw the addition of a new side faction called Glimmeron Racer. In this faction we befriend Briggle, a drug bar NPC who really loves nails. The main objective is to keep doing dailies with her. For each daily you will get 100 reputation in return. Upon reaching the final 5th rank with them, which is the professional one, you will be awarded with a big slick in the city mount, this beautiful awesome looking snail mount. To reach professional rank with them you will need a total of 2800 reputation, which means 28 days. But there is one way to speed this up and that is if you show her max level snails throughout Azeroth. When you show her a snail you will get 100 reputation in return which equals to one daily, so you will need one day less. So you can imagine that snail pets will have a lot of demand these days. There are 15 snail pets in total that can be shown to Briggle and some of them can be bought from the auction house. Today we will talk more specifically about the ones coming from protoform synthesis which can also be sold in the auction house, so you can use them for profit making. As a matter of fact I managed to sell two of them so far, so that means that people do actually buy them, and for a good sum of gold. I will show you the results later, so keep watching until the end. But for now let's take one by one and explain how you can obtain them and use them for profit. First of all let's see what snails we are talking about. So we have the archetype of vigilance, Microlysid and Shelly. Okay, these all come from the protoform synthesis, a system which was introduced back in the Shadowlands at Zereth Mortis. To acquire these snails you will need to spend a bit of time, but I will explain it all so you can follow my steps. First of all you need to unlock the protoform synthesis. To do that you need to complete the first three chapters of the main campaign in Zereth Mortis. Next you need to research the cipher console called the Alic Understanding. Once fully completed, you need to summon Pokopop and he will offer you the quest called Protoform Synthesis. You just need to simply escort him there and you will unlock the system. The way this system works is you need to find schematics for the pets first, then you need to learn the schematic and find three different kinds of reagents in order to craft them. And they do all work in a similar way, so you will need a lattice, a glimmer component and a few hundreds of Genesis modes. In our case, since we are going to craft snails, we will need one helicid lattice for each snail. The helicid lattice drops from all of the snail mobs found in Zereth Mortis. A good place to farm them is right here at the southeast side of the map. You just need to keep killing snail mobs until it drops. The Orilax Rare also can drop this and it has a much much higher drop rate, so make sure you kill it whenever it's up. It can spawn from killing the elite snail here, which is called Overgrown Helicid. Genesis Mode is another key component for crafting the pets and these drop from many different creatures in Zereth Mortis. The best place I found to farm this is near the Void Portals because the mobs here do spawn very very quickly and it's extremely easy to kill them now since we have out leveled the entire zone. Now to find the snail schematics and the glimmer component for each one we have to take them one by one. Starting off with Microlysid, to find this schematic you will need to come to this location. You can find this schematic in the foliage of a floating tree above a half submerged orb. It's very easy to find it. And the only component that's missing is the glimmer of satisfaction. This glimmer can appear in your bags after gaining the well fed buff in Zereth Mortis. It's confirmed that you can get this glimmer from eating the Feast of Glutinous Edonism or Empty Kettle of Stone Soup. You can buy both of them from the auction house depending on which one is the cheapest on your realm. In my case the fees was very very cheap so I stuck them up. Also don't spam the fees, it will only count the first well fed buff you get from the food and then there is a hidden cooldown of 15 minutes until you can try again. So what you can do is you can try in different alts, since this is uh, also a can white, the glimmer. So you can do that instead, or if you want you can try every 15 minutes, though I doubt that that's a very good um, way to acquire it, unless you are afk or something. That's as far as the Microlysid, now let's move on to Shelly, the second snail. To find the Shelly schematic you will need to come inside the lexical grotto cave. The schematic is located at the second bookshelf from the left, 
at the top hexagon shelf. And there is two ways you can get this. First way is to use some kind of teleportation ability to get up there. For example, warlocks can use getaway to teleport there. If you don't have any teleport ability, you can buy the bracers from the quartermaster Violet Haven. These have the dimensional translator feature, which you can use to teleport up there. So it's uh, fairly easy. But if you don't want to bother with teleports, you can start climbing to the platforms from the front side until you can use your interact key to get it. Even though the schematic is behind the bookshelf, you can use the interact key from the front side and you can still grab it. To craft Shelly, besides the Helicid Lattice and Genesis modes, you will also need a Glimmer of Serenity. This Glimmer is a small glowing purple pyramid which can be found on top of pillars and floating orbs throughout Xerath Mortis. Once you have obtained all of the reagents for Shelly, you can go up to the Synthesis Forge and craft it. And with that we have arrived to the final snail coming from Protoform Synthesis and this is the Archetype of Vigilance. In this case there is no schematic for this one, luckily, so you will have to just find the reagents for it. You will basically unlock the schematic just by unlocking the protoform synthesis. You will give given the schematic freely among with other archetypes pets. The glimmer component for this one is called Glimmer of Vigilance and this can drop from overgrown protector mobs like the overgrown bulwark or the drifter found in the catalyst gardens. This area at the southeast part of the zone. As I mentioned before, I managed to sell two of them. I sold the Microlysid at the price of 100k and Shelly at almost 40k. So, to be honest, that's not too bad at all. I mean, how long did it took me? You can basically buy the Helicid Lattice if you don't want to farm it, even though it doesn't take that long, and then you just need to find the Glimmer components. Now, as far as the Genesis mods go, they might take a bit of time, but you can easily kill the mobs now, so again, it shouldn't take that long. And frankly, that's the reason I mainly go for the Microlysid, because it takes half the amount of Genesis mods to craft it. And it also goes for like double the price of the other two. But again, depends on your realm and how many sellers you are, how many people do buy them and stuff like that. What applies to my realm, it might be completely different to yours. So take that into consideration before choosing which pet you want to prioritize crafting. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching my content and please make sure to drop a like if you have found this video helpful. If you want to support my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash andrikatsgames where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you're doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!